recognition of the legacy of Michael Brown. His death will not be in vain. His Almost four years ago to this day, I ran down this very street. And my son was covered in a sheet. It broke me, you know. It brought me down to my knees and made me feel crippled as if I could do nothing else anymore from that moment. But as time went on and I stayed surrounded by support and motivational people who knew what happened was wrong and didn't give up the fight, I learned to walk again. And this is one of my first steps running for Ferguson City Council of 2019. All right. Yeah. This is so important to me. And I know a lot of people may ask what makes me qualified. But I'll tell you, if a mother had to watch her son lay in the street for four and a half hours and watch a community be completely disrespected by our elected officials that we elected, mm. what would you do? You would stand up and you would fight too. I'm not going to give up, and when I'm elected, I will be the people's voice and not just the people's choice. Leslie, run! Run, Leslie, run! One, more run. One last quick question. Well, the governor has the power to do so, to appoint a special prosecutor. And we've seen them put other issues in front of the Ferguson issue, which they will not say my son's name, Michael Brown. It's his issue. So I go back to Mike Parsons to ask once again, why have you tried to dismiss this situation and not give us a special prosecutor before Bob McCullough walks out of there, even though we know his time is up? We need to deal with him before he leaves. We need to stop letting these people bow out gracefully. They hang us out to dry naked with nothing, but they get time to get severance, pension, and everything and live happily ever after. I'll never have a happily ever after. Right. 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 Right.